focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Well, and I think you bring up a really good point. I mean, one of the things that we do, and oftentimes we don't do it ourselves, which we need to do, and that is, you know, where is it that you want to go? I mean, so often we we don't take the time to figure out our true purpose. What's our purpose? Yeah. Uh, we refer to it as you know creating our best life blueprint. What I would say along the journey, the biggest turning point for me is when I realized that I was so used to saying yes. I was saying yes to so many things. It was getting to be overwhelm and confusion and not know it was clear. Still happens sometimes, I'm not perfect at it. But when I realized, like Warren Buffett says, he says, I say no to everything. And a couple things a year sneak in because they were perfect for my bigger future. So, so along that journey, if you say what was the biggest change in my life is learning to say no. And in your journey, how do you say no? You know, when people say to me, uh, you know, Dean, I'm overwhelmed, or I need a time management course, or I need to fit more time, or I wish I had 48 hours in a day. They don't need time management. They need clarity. They need a vision. Because most people walk around knowing what they don't want in life. Like, mm -hmm. we, we, we just literally spend so much time knowing what we don't want, and, and when we do that, we say yes to too many things. I, I'm going to tell a quick story, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, a good friend of mine, uh, He's involved in his church organization. Him and a bunch of dads take a bunch of 18 to 20 year old boys whitewater rafting up in uh, Colorado. And I guess rapids go from a zero to a five. And they get there and the rapids are a five. It rained for two weeks before. The rapids are crazy. All the dads are nervous, right? They're responsible for all these kids. And uh, the dads are like, I think we should skip it. And the boys are nervous. And then this guy comes out. He's been doing it for 30 years. He goes, dads, don't worry. Boys, you're fine. Get in the rafts. He gets in the raft and, the, and the, 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 the guide says, see this finger, boys? This is the positive point. He goes, wherever I point, when I point, you paddle your guts out to where I'm pointing. And I promise you it will be fine. He said, I will never point to the rock. I'll never point to the big rapid. I'll never point to the down tree. Because if I do, you will look at it, we'll run right into it, and we'll flip over. So, but that's really a metaphor for life. You know, we're so, we're so many times we're pointing, I don't want that income, I don't want that relationship, I don't want, don't want, don't want. It's like, and I've asked thousands of people this. You could ask somebody, you know, what they don't want out of life, and they will ramble off all the things that aren't working, their wife, their husband, their money, their income, and if you stop them abruptly and go, oh, okay, you, you don't want that, tell me right now, really quick, what do you want out of life? I've done this with thousands of people. Nine out of ten will literally go, blank. They'll say, that's a good question, or I really don't know. So, so what are you doing? We're in a Ferrari with no GPS going 100 miles an hour, but we don't know where we're going. Why did I take so much time to share that? Because that's one of the biggest secrets of my life, the biggest changer for me, or the most successful people I know. When you ask them where they're going, they know just like that. So with that said, instead of just avoiding what you don't want, when you have clarity, and this is a little hack, do this. If, if you get nothing else out of this interview, do this one thing for me. Pretend it's a year from now, and it's the best year of your life. Let's just pick your finances. It's the best year of your life. You are doing so well financially and in the career that you love that you walk in a room and people don't know if you got a tan, you got a haircut, you've been working out, you just, your, your wife looks at you and goes, damn, he's sexier. Your, your husband looks at you and goes, wow, she looks so beautiful. Like you're in that glow, you're in that groove and your life, wh what do you look like in the mirror? What do you feel like? How much money's coming in? Like pretend it's a year rather than trying to look ahead. Sometimes we're so damn busy we have a dust cloud around us, right? Like we're just trying to handle so much it's hard to set goals. So pretend it's a year, it's the best year of your life and just start writing stuff down. And then all of a sudden circle the top ones. And that's really your destination. That can give you part of your vision, part of the clarity of where you want to go. So all the stuff I'm telling you, the reason I loop this so big is when you know where you want to go, then all of a sudden it's easier to say no to the things that don't serve your bigger future. Right? If it's not on that list of your perfect life a year from now, then why are you hanging out with your friends talking about negativity? With that group of people that make you feel sad. You're working on that business that hasn't made you money in 10 years and you're not happy with it. Time to shut it down. Time to get rid of that boss that's been making you feel bad about yourself or, or that employer or that employee that works for you that makes you feel bad every day. Let it go. Like, like when you look at that perfect life, if it doesn't fit, it's either a no or get rid of it. Yeah. Right? We're quick to want to go ahead and come up with all of the things that we did wrong and all the reasons that, you know, we were not successful versus let's look at it from, okay, what, what are we learning from this and 
who can we who can we reach out to mm -hmm. and be transparent and just be open and say, hey, I'm stuck and how, how would you handle this? And that's what I'm finding from entrepreneurs who've been there and who are successful. They've had failure in their, they've had failure in their career path. I mean, big and, time failure. And a lot of times entrepreneurs are, not, are on a very thin line of of failure <laughs> throughout their careers but because they're putting everything on the line, aren't they? So Everything on the yeah, line, and yeah. they, because of that passion. Yeah. A not-to-do list is more important than a to-do list in many cases. So it's not what you say yes to, it's what you say no to, because everything you say yes to, you're saying no to something else. If you say yes to being on Facebook for two hours, you might be saying no to spending that time with your children. If you're going to say yes to watching TV, you're going to say no to you know, maybe exercise. And if you say yes to staying up late, surfing the internet or looking at porn online, you're saying no to sleeping. So that you know, there's a lot of stuff that people say yes to that isn't serving them and they wonder why their life is not where they're at. And I'll tell you, it's not a choice at all because sometimes these are compulsions, which is what addiction is. So yeah, I think, you know, I think what you're doing and what you're providing People can learn so much just by absorbing the lessons that people are saying, but don't just hear them. You have to pick people that you resonate with, things that you hear, and instead of going shallow with it, go deep. And if there's anything I did, I went really deep with marketing, and I learned it, I applied it, I got a result, and it's changed my life, and it's, it's changed the lives of tens of thousands of other people too.